As Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksha fled the country unscathed and uncaptured, he and his wife made Maldives their first destination. Sri Lanka's Air Force confirmed the 73-year-old's arrival on the Indian Ocean Island on Wednesday, believed to be the first stopover before another destination in Asia. It came hours before the president was due to step down, following a mass uprising over the country's dire economic crisis and anger over the Rajapaksha family's political stranglehold on the nation. The whole country thinks that the president must step aside. It should happen that way. Those are the expectations of everyone. Instead of resigning outright, however, the fleeing leader informed government that he would be handing over the reins of the presidency to the country's prime minister, but only on an interim basis. I have been informed by President Rajapaksha that since he is out of the country, he has appointed Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe under Clause 371 of the Constitution to carry out his duties. In one of his first decrees in charge, Vikramasinghe declared a state of emergency, imposing a curfew in the western province which includes the capital Colombo. The current Minister of Finance also said he would leave once a new government was in place. But that was not enough for protesters who ignored the latest measures, mobbing the Premier's office before being met with police tear gas to prevent them from overrunning the compound.